Hey guys, this is Metromata. Welcome to my next video. Today, I'm going to play two songs for you on my guitar. One, a beautiful chord progression. And two, the Godfather theme. Hope you guys enjoy and have a nice listen. First, I'm going to be playing the chord progression. play the Godfather theme. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Oh wait! There's some bonus content made specially for you guys. Ooh, it looks really cool. Come on with me. Let's see what it is. I'm going to play Harry Potter Headbooks theme. See? I told you it would be cool. <laughs> Mission Impossible Team.
the video is for the viewers who want to learn the card which I played or flipped in this video. So I'm going to be playing the cards A minor, E minor, D major, G major, respectively. In the first variation, I will link down the notations for A minor, E minor, D major and G major down in the description below. So now I'm going to show you the strumming pattern. Down, down, up, clap, down, down, up, down, down, up, clap. So it's very simple. You just practice down, down, up, clap and get the clap perfectly on time. Then even if you're learning guitar only for one year, you'll be able to play it easily. And people will think, wow, it's really good. Okay, so. You can play it along with me and pause the video and practice on your own. Now, I'm going to play the same thing for all the chords in the first variation, but at the top, G major, which is at the end, I will show you one specific part which I have to play in the end. So let's play. What I did in the G major was I played the one clap that except on G major. So I played that and I continuously let it flow after that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like that. So I'll play the variation one, two times. Just hear carefully and look at my hand carefully. it for the first variation. Now the second variation which I played in the end very quickly is a bit difficult but very simple actually. Contradicting statements but okay let's play. We'll see how it is. Comment down below which do you think was harder? Variation 1 or variation 2? Or were both easy for you? Or were both hard for you? I don't know. You comment down below. Okay so variation 2. Same thing A minor and we're going to change up the variation uh, a bit. The chords will be a bit different, like A minor, A minor, then G major, G major, basically D major and G major get swapped. So then we play. There's nothing different in it. Well, here comes the book. If you saw my clip, you'll notice that I played some bits different. So I played the E minor different. I played it, let, let it flow. No caps, nothing, no claps, nothing. Just play. Under the time frame, of course. So we played. doesn't sound what I played. Okay, what else did I do? Hmm. Oh yeah, now I remember. So what I did basically was A minor and the E minor, the new thing which I taught you, then G major and then in the D major I did something special. So basically what I did was this third finger which is there on B3, I moved it to E3, B3, E3. E3, like that. So I just played after we've finished all the explanation for E minor and D major. I'm going to play the second variation once and then I'll play it fully for you together with the first variation and the second variation.
learned the chord which I played. For real now, thank you guys so much for watching. Sub to my channel here. See some more videos here. Bye.